I'm gonna try and finish it tonight, but no promises. The reason it took me so long to start streaming was because um, I was downloading a game, and I didn't want it to use like fuck up my thing. The game I was downloading, by the way, was fucking Katamari Damacy. The um, like, we love Katamari remake was like ten bucks, so I snatched it. So that is um, that'll be a later stream. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. But I'm live. Streaming on this fine Thursday morning. Hey, Saints in Hell. And one more shill link, and then I'll start playing. We got near the end. Uh, I think I'm at the end of, almost near the end of Egypt. And then I think there's Torsh, <laughs> the Rio narrator. Richard Russell. Put this on sideways so I can read all the comments. Ahoy, what's up, Chun Yen? Alright, let's start this game. Yeah, Sanctor. A hundred and. Tomb some Raiders. On another count. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Oh yeah, Laura Croft can't raid tombs anymore because that's colonialist. It's colonialist to, you know, want to keep artifacts from being destroyed by people that have no appreciation for them. Do you know that they, you know how they found the Rosetta Stone? It was being used to hold up some guy's fucking wall. The fucking Rosetta Stone. Pregnant wombs. For a retro game? Yeah. Hey, Gaseous. Oh, wait, I have to open that. Oh, shit. Correctly say the name? <laughs> hey. What do I need? I need, uh... I don't know. We'll figure it out on the way. I think I had to get all the way up there, and I did. And I ended up in the water. Literal evil hat. That sword lesbian RPG. Um, my next game after this will probably be either... Um, excuse me. It'll be... Um, oh, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get up there. If you guys remember my com fucking dyslexia showing again, that could have made a story where Laura gets breast cancer. Why not? You already fuck. Sounds like a pro porno. But yeah, uh, my next game after this will probably be Tormented Souls, Resident Evil Zero, or Katam We Love Katamari. Imagine the drama. White man's invention. Yeah. Alright, so I pulled all those switches to get to here, and I don't know how to get over there. Buck! Alright, I think I got this. This is a real PETA. Because she doesn't do the fucking, um... We'll try it. Got console ports for you to stream, but I, I have the first two Fallout games. It needs flushing out. I'm trying to get over there, but she won't get over there normally. I 
Because I had to climb all those fucking ledges just to get this door opened. Pirate, so I can show the cringe with my brother. Get? Fuck! Your favorite game? Oh, Fallout 2 is so hard. Holy shit, that game is hard. You need to save scum in the tutorial uh, dungeon. My favorite Fallout was 3. Enjoy a moment. Am I doing this wrong? I think I am. Maybe... Let's check the guide. What is this area? Get good and buy a guide. It is the Sanctuary of the Scion. Alright. Oh, you're check You're cheating? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, checking out a guide for Tomb Raider is not cheating. 400 page strategy guide. Show us your hands. Show us your hands. Oh boy. Did I already get that one? Hmm. Yeah, I shot that guy, pulled that switch. All right, that's good. Oh, there's a secret on the Sphinx. That's nice. Oh, the Ootsies are there. Oh, I gotta do a... Alright. Now I have to shoot those birds. Alright. I gotta slide backwards? Fuck. Alright, slide backwards. So I guess like this. Fuck, Laura. How do I fucking slide backwards? We'll figure it out. When's he gonna... When's that day? I don't know. He said he was gonna stream a lot more, then he stopped streaming. Nope. Oh, fuck you, Laura. What the fuck was she slid off there? You see that shit? You're a waste of life. Stoop. She was on it, but then she slid off of it. Said I have to fucking. How do you slide backwards off something? I'll do it. Guess like no, cause. Smart. We'll worry about that later. I want to get them Uzis. I got all the time in the world. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, so on the wall, <laughs> I'll have to check the guide again. Because I climbed all that. Wait, wait, wait. What's that up there? We'll figure that out. Oh, there's a door up there, too. Huh. Fascinating. <laughs> Jeez. Seasonal allergies. So I gotta climb up there. Oh, I see where I can climb up there. Yeah, you can see there's like little nudges you can like grab onto. Bless you. Thank you. So you just climb on that. And that. And 
and we climb back here. Yeah, that's where we got that one area, and we open that up. Oh, fuck. All right, well... Actually, let me explore behind the Sphinx. <laughs> oh, Susie, stop making your risen carry my paw and ass to bed. Oh, boy. This is dedicated to my good old buddy, Susie Hunter. Nothing. Ooh, yeah, we could play. I, I've been wanting to play Harvester for a while. Harvester, some of the Leisure Suit Larry games. There's a few others I've been wanting to play. Not the Dragon's Plague, Susie. Sony had a big sale on some games, so I picked some stuff up. I might as well explore here. I haven't been here in a while. Oh, yeah, this is where I pushed that switch, right? Oh, this is where I started the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planet, I heard good things about that game. Yeah. Hey, what's this up here? Hmm. Okay, you can't jump that. Dark Seed. One. Oh, yes. I kind of remember playing Dark Seed. Uh, I believe it was two. Oh, fuck. I did. Ripperoni. All right, so. Let me look at that guide again. Riona Ronnie? Riona 1? It's there. Second switch. Slide down back. How the fuck do I do that? I guess I have to play with classic controls. I think that's what's fucking me up. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh. Go to controls. There we go. I did the tutorial. Yeah, she jumped backwards. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Well, we're getting there. Oh, God. Oh, that's why. Ah, fuck. I was holding the right trigger instead of... Oh, my goodness. I gotta hold the X button. Lord, damn it! Stop moving! I'll be. Ah, oh, fuck. She kept walking backwards, but wouldn't, she wouldn't stop. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, stop, stop. There we go. Now we're going to go back, turn on modern controls. There we go. Save, might as well save, that took forever. 170 saves. 
Feel good about yourself, Laura. I did actually do the tutorial, but I didn't stream it. So fucking stupid. Uh, I think I vaguely remember the ending to that game. Hey, what we got down here? Well, we got a key. That's nice. Keys are nice. You know what game I want to stream? Uh, Beavis and Butthead. Virtual Stupidity. And the Beavis and Butthead game for Genesis. Because I can almost beat that one. I get stuck on the hospital level where you have to race that fat guy. Damn! YouTube will go shut down mode and harvester once the eating mommy scene. Uh, Retsu Prey got away with it, and every other person that streamed that fucking game got away with it, so I don't see why I shouldn't. Honestly, at one point I was just gonna riff on, um, Built for Fat Ugly Men. I was just gonna riff on the cutscenes to Harvester. Ah, damn, she can't get close enough. So I watched this movie last night. Hold on, let me check the guide. Let's check the guide. Ugh. Do that. Slide down. There's a key down there. Oh, the keyhole's up there. Oh, I gotta do a backflip, so I had to jump and roll at the same time. Alright. So last night, I was watching a movie. Uh, it's by a guy named Ty West, who I'm pretty sure is Jewish, but it does, the internet doesn't say. And the reason I say that is because that is... Let's see if I can do the... There's this... Jump. And there's rolls, so X and circle. All right. The movie was called X, by the way. Let's do it. Oh, fuck! Oh, I gotta do it backwards. He looks like one... Yeah, that's what I said. Because... All right, so the movie is... It's like basically like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, except a bunch of people go to this old people's farmhouse to film a porno movie. Joey moment. Yes. Anyway, they go there to film a porno movie, and this old lady, and this old dude... Oh, I was close! Her finger slipped. I right, we got this. Anyway, they all get killed. And that's cool. Not fucking 20 minutes into the movie. It was like 19, 18 minutes into the movie. You get your first sex scene. And I'm like, yeah, sex scenes are... Fat Joker hands. Yeah, sex scenes are a given. They're filming a fucking, you know, smut movie. Black guy, white girl. Mmm. Alright, so I'm like, no, no, I skipped it. <laughs> I did a lot of, like, I fucking... Ah, fuck. Ah, stop doing stuff. Like, the first 20 minutes of the movie, I basically fast-forwarded through most of the shit. And then, people don't start dying until, like, the hour mark. <laughs> Pissed me off as there's a scene where, um, fuck, the, the, the fucking little Hispanic girl that plays Wednesday. There we go. Get, you fucker. She's like a good Christian girl who don't do that stuff, and her boyfriend drags her in. To help her make his smut movie. Because he's like, I want to make... I don't want to make porno. I want to make art. I'm making art house movies. 
about black dudes fucking the farmer's daughter. Literally, the movie they're making is called The Farmer's Daughter. Sup, Derek? Did I do that right? Anyway, there's a part where, like, she's like, yeah, ew, that's what I said. There's a part where she's like, I want to be in the movie. And she's, like, kind of prudish at first, which is awesome. She wore, She's like, she wears a Christian cross around her neck. And then, then like, they she they get her, they convince her to be in the movie, and you, you see a close-up shot of her taking the cross off. <laughs> and, like, oh, cool, Jenna Ortega in her fucking underwear. That's awesome. And it's like, oh, she has to fuck the only guy that they're going to fuck. I'm like, fuck. Ew. So I skipped that. And then it cuts right to her boyfriend just angry, taking a shower, screaming. Subtle. It's about as subtle as a brick to the face. You... Do I have to do it backwards? Is that it? Do I do... No. Wow. Yeah, that whole movie, yeah. There's a prequel, too, called Pearl. <laughs> anyway, Jenna, Jenna Ortega's character dies the dumbest way. She starts freaking out. She gets locked in a closet, and she starts freaking out. And when What's-Her-Face, the uh, main actress who has no eyebrows... The main actress in this movie has no eyebrows, and it's really weird. Hey, Mr. Vids. Alright, do I do it like this? Slide, and then... Wah! Oh, shit! You love to see it. Before I touch anything. 170 saves. Good, good gravy. She gets shot in the head running outside and screaming. And then, uh, ah! Oh, God! It's the fucking Schlurpzilla! She wants Laura's. Will you fucking die already? Jesus. Stay, Lily. There we go. Fuck you. Schlurpzilla. Oh, cool. There's a health pack, too. Schlurp, schlurp. The main villain is this horny old bitch and her husband. Well, the horny woman is played by the same fucking actor, actress, Valsh's favorite boss. I can vouch for that, you fucker. And she, she like, kills the people. It's pretty cool. Uh, black guy gets shot in the chest. He doesn't die first. Uh, the nerdy guy that was freaking out because his girlfriend was pressured into being a porno. You shouldn't have brought her there, dude. <laughs> He's like, you get stabbed a bunch of times by the old lady because she tries to fuck him. She's like, give me that dick. And he's like, ew, no. So she stabs him in the neck and several other places, like his fucking chest and stuff. Uh, black guy gets shot by a shotgun. The blonde woman, that was like their main porn star, she gets fed to an alligator, which is fucking funny. Was I already up here? I think I was. No. Oh, it's out here. Uh, fuck. Poor Jenna Ortega gets shot in the face. Oops. That's horrible. That is. Can I climb up there? I think I can. I think I was already up there, but there might be something up there that I want. See, you can see the Uzi, but I don't know how to get up to that thing. Oh, I see. I think I have to climb up there. Yeah, I see. I gotta do some stuff. I gotta do some stuff. We're gonna save the game first and foremost, because we have our first onk. And then we're gonna get up here. We're gonna get into this thing. Yeah, that movie, eh. But yeah, it's, it seems pretty Jewish. Although, oh, fuck. The scene of Jenna Ortega's boyfriend freaking out because, oh shit, I just filmed my girlfriend getting fucked for this bullshit Weimar entertainment. <laughs> it was a pretty good fuck around and find out moment. <laughs> He's, like, showering and stuff and, like, freaking out, like, like a dirty, like, ew, unclean shower. Because his church mouse, and yeah, they literally call her church mouse. Vids. They literally call her church mouse. She gets fucked on camera. 
Oops. Well, how, how's that art going, buddy? Buddy boy? Not going so hot, huh? Oh, you wanted to make Kino. Looks like all you're making is cuck Kino. Literally cucked on film. Cuck. I think I already did this, but I'm going to do this again in case I forgot something. Yeah, I think I forgot something. I think I jumped off too soon and didn't do something. Yeah, I, I wanted to like the movie. It looked cool, but man. Man. Oh, I can just... You could just walk over it. You are scum. <laughs> I don't know. They made a prequel, like, literally at the same time. And it's called Pearl. And I fall off and... Die, oof! And it's about the killer from the first movie, this old bitch. <laughs> Played by the same actress. Faith in anything. Yeah, true. Woo! Oh, shit! Mistakes in the miracles. What's up, D-Man? think. Yeah. You can see the Uzis up there, and I want to get them. Whoop! Little sticks. And if, if anyone's wondering if I'm going to do the DLC, yeah, but probably not right after I beat the game. Or not DLC, the uh, expansion pack. Because this uh, version of Tomb Raider has all the expansion levels. Each each of the three games, every weapon counts. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's my review of X. X, more like ass. Or X did not mark the spot. It did if you're really into fucking... Gross, degenerate people that get killed off. And I like how they make the old woman like this horny rapist. So it's like, yo, you're not going to like her. We're going to make her an evil, evil rapist. There's a scene where she's like laying in bed with what's her face? No eyebrows. Seriously, the fucking lead in the movie has no eyebrows. I shouldn't make fun of that. Like, it's like, whatever. But like, she has no eyebrows. It's very noticeable. Whoops! So, we meet again. And they're making a third movie this year where she's in Hollywood and she wants to be a star. You want to be a star, huh? Well, black, you want to be in black and white. Black and white's got to be in you. That's a publishing company. Starring a penguin. How do I get up there? That is the question of the day. How do we get up there? Do I jump? I, I, oh, I see it now. You saw, oh yeah, they had a trailer for the new Joker movie. Isn't it like a musical? It's like Joker has a girlfriend played by Lady Gaga. Okay. Well, if you're going to do a musical, you might as well hire someone that can sing. So I'll give them that. They get a point for that. Not counting on it to be good. Yeah. I like the first Joker movie, but it, it was really just a bunch of, like, Martin Scorsese movies remade and stuck together. Fuck you, bitch. Not an actress. What the fuck does Gaga know about film?
You always were a kidder, Steve. Apparently the actor who played Steve is a fucking diddler. Okay. Okay. Woo! That's my problem with the fucking modern controls, is Laura's a little too floaty. But yeah, fuck. I think I got this. Oh, fuck, she keeps landing on that fucking thing. Brother, ew. You guys ever see that clip? There's this clip of a Muslim dude. He's like talking to someone else. He's like, brother, ew. No, brother, brother, no. I smoke. No, I don't smoke. I have a lot of family members who smoked and it just turned me off for doing that. You fucker. Maybe I jump on here. Yep. Brother, ew. Fucker, you cocksucker. Whoever invented this is a cocksucker. Sucks cock. But no, I don't smoke. Ooh, 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 fuck you, bitch. Maybe I do a roll. Nah, because if I do a roll, I picture it already. Oh, yeah, just do that, and just... Fucking fly completely off the handle. <clears throat> Ugh. All right. Uh. All right. Uh huh. No, I might as well save it here. This will keep me from fucking having to climb up there. A one seventy-eight. There we go. Hell yeah. I did it. Alright. I want to jump over there. We're going to have like 300 saves by the end of this fucking game. Yes! Oh, fuck you. Ooh. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Oh, shit. I think I was here last time and a monster flew out. And then I jumped off, not thinking, and I killed the monster. I show speed it. No, I didn't. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so there's an invisible section. Alright. Hmm. Let's check the guide. Death count not to die. Hmm. 
Oh, there's an invisible... Yeah, all right. I figure that. The fucking Uzi was floating. Welcome to the what? We're going to save right here. He got his neck snapped. I show speed got his neck broken. Oh shit. Fuck you. <laughs> My risk was calculated, but man, I'm bad at math. Is is he okay? Yes! Do Uzi this one? I, I got a new achievement too, and I got Rioned, yes. So there was an Ankh I missed. Oh, there's a switch up there too. Well, hey there, sweetie pie. Let's test out the new toys. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Get fucked. There's a keyhole on that Sphinx's head. How do I get up there? Do I even have the key for that? No, I have an onk. Riona. I Riona. How the fuck do I get down here properly? Riona, Riona'd me. All right, that was fun. Save that again. And then we got to figure out. You know what? Close enough. <laughs> We got enough health packs. We'll be good. We'll be dandy. All right, I need to get over there somehow. Oh, and that's somehow. Hwa. All right, we got the Uzis. We have all the weapons, by the way. I thought that was a fucking switch. How do I get over there? Oh, that's a nice sound. Oh, fuck. Oh, you want to play these games, motherfucker. All right. Get fucked. Ah, fuck my ear itches. Mmm. He just wants to sniff your hand. His name's Pibbles, and he's a thousand pounds. He's a nanny dog. Who just happens to be a hundred pounds. Fast runner and can rip a kid in half. But, you know, nanny dog. We was nanny dogs and shit. Hey, JT Gamer. Star Trek Discovery? I haven't watched a Star Trek series since The Next Generation. I think I saw some of the movies that came out. I saw, like, the first two movies that hit theaters, like the uh, new Star Trek movies. Oh, that's how you get up there. Get up there. 
Yeah, I heard about that Tomb Raider thing where she's not going to raid tombs anymore. What's the fucking point? Cool. Oh, I need a bunch of fucking onks then. Oh, I need two of them. All right, where's the second one? Is it up there somewhere? Do I got to do some fucking climbing? Galaxy Quest? I remember that movie. That was that Tim Allen and Sigourney Weaver. That was all right. Did a decent job making fun of Star Trek fans at the time, which, honestly, Star Trek fans in the 90s are already the butt of every joke. You didn't need to make a movie making fun of them. But, yeah, it was all right. I haven't seen it in forever, though. Wee! So we got to do some climbing. Because, yeah, I didn't explore all this tomb had to offer. Which means I, have to, I should go over there, I think. This is going to be interesting. If you used the shaver bush in the alien movie, so they had to edit it by frame. <laughs> that reminds me, there's a story. Um, When they were making Smiling Friends... First time I saw it when it was called The Three Amigo. Yeah. There's another movie I haven't seen in forever. When they were making Smiling Friends, one of the characters was like a rapper. That guy was like, get out of my head, man. Get out of my head. They had pubes on him. Like, in his, uh, coming out of his pants. And they wanted some guy to edit them out so they could label him pube editor in the fucking credits. But they forgot to put the word pube editor in the credits. Oh, I gotta hit that switch. All right. No, you're in my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head, man. Get in my head. I love how the like all the references they make in fucking Smiling Friends are just shit they said on any place. Like nearly all the references, Chan to voice yes. Uh, they got Harry Partridge to do it instead. And it wasn't because Chris raped his mother. It was because... Oh, shit. Woo! It was because they had... There was, like, a limit on how many non-union actors they can get to voice a character. And they already hit their limit. So they just had Harry Partridge voice the character. And also, Chris Chan himself would have uh, fucked that whole thing up. Like, Chris Chan is stupid. He can't keep a secret. He would have been like, I'm going to be on the Smiling Friends, guys. Like, Chris Chan is like a world-class giga retard. God damn. <laughs> oh. Voice actor Jabronis Rionid. I mean, I could have, but I didn't. That was literally all Chris Chan was going to say. She crumpled. So we have to go up there, get the next onk, and then we will we will be... I remember Chris Chan. Everyone does. Chris Chan is baby's first lol cow. Although he's not the first lol cow. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, Laura. He's not the first lol cow, but he was the first one to really get mainstream attention. And he was the first one to really, like, have all the traits of a lol cow. <laughs> like, all the things people, like, the fake girlfriends, the trolling sagas. That, that all started with Chris. <laughs> How the fuck do I get down there? Avoid lol cows in their projects. Yeah. People love lol cows. They love. It's basically like people love picking on the fucking. There we go. We did it. So now I gotta get all the way back up there to get to that doorway. Oh wait, that's that doorway behind the Sphinx, or it's like near the Sphinx. Hey, Beeb. Yes, Rionid. Cushion your fall. <laughs> she has airbags. 
Oh my god, how many of these flying fucker knots are there? He's perched. Get the Uzis. Empty's indulging of Jamal will bite him in the ass right next to Susie's. Left <laughs> mark. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say, Jamal's just fucking gross. Jamal's fucking gross. Like, he grosses me out. He's fucking cockeyed. He always looks like he stinks of shit. If you're li listening to this, Jamal, please. That's fair. Please take a shower. You look like you need a shower, buddy. Jamal, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, fuck. How in the blazes do I get up there? Nuff said. Little body. Huge head. Nuff said. Get up there. Ooh. Coming back from that sort of thing. The weeaboos and furries, they need <laughs> car washes. Oh, God. Yeah. Jamal is based. Jamal has no fucking opinions about anything. And I know I'm sounding rude, but I kind of am. Like, he literally does not care about anything other than what will get him internet clicks and popularity. Like, that's all he cares about. Oh, the alt-right is popular. I'm going to be Nazi. That gets fucking shut down hard. Oh, transgenderism. I am a trans communist. Like, no fucking beliefs. No fucking anything. Just what, what'll get me clicks? What'll make me popular? Do you have an actual point, Spurglord? I have a, quite a few points. Fuzz is another one. Empty, play my game. I made a new game in Flash. It's where I eat the poo poo empty. And I know this sounds like I'm hurting his feelings, but he kind of needs to hear this. You will never be famous on YouTube. I won't. Fuzz won't. But, you know, that's cool. You don't need to be famous on YouTube or, you know, get that fucking path right. Now it's nighttime in America, but you need to voice. He doesn't have feelings to hurt. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> True. Won't you be a YouTube star? <laughs> Hello. Oh, fuck. I can't make the jump! Did they meet? I'm pretty sure fucking Jama met Andy Worski back when he was doing his internet blood sports shit. See, Andy got lucky fucking doing the fucking Kino Casino shit because he was on, the, like, the downward trend. Like, near the end of Internet Blood Sports, it was, um, he was doing a stream where he lit his nipple on fire. <laughs> yes! Oh, Fuzz? Um, he's still around. He's still doing his thing. That's the way there. Where the fuck is that god gosh darn door? Is it behind the Sphinx? Where's the door at? Bootsy? Is the actual Bootsy still around, or is that just a joke? I really like... He did a few videos for... I think it's down there, actually. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. He did, like, really good videos for Cinemasker back in the day where it was, like, him beating Battletoads and, like, crazy shit like that. But then, I think, something like Residuals. He wasn't getting the money from the Board James DVDs that he wanted, which is fucked. Pay your guy. Oh, fuck you. Oh, well, I can check it down here. And uh, he left because of that. Fuck yeah. It's 
sucks because we'll never get more bored, James. That was probably the best thing he's done in a while. Mad that Bootsy was more popular than him. ABGN fucks his friends over for money. Scumbag. Bootsy was a good singer, too. Tornado Rick, get ready for the rat. There's the door. There's my chippy. When the devil calls your name. I'm kind of glad they were able to finish Board James, though. It didn't just end on, like, a cliffhanger or anything. That looks like I have to push it. Phil. Yeah. Got lame at the end with James doing this stupid Malore thing. Yeah. A lot of people like the darker episodes. A lot of people like darker content. Doesn't matter what it is. To make AVGN movie like Board James, he probably would still... Yeah. True. <laughs> There's the key. Oh! <laughs> There's the Schlurpzilla. 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 <laughs> I'm not kidding when that thing really does look like the Schlurpzilla. Yeah, Phil wasn't, but he, he basically said, like, yeah, I was inspired by AV Gen. He fucking quotes him, too. Turning Mr. Ed in the glue. I, that was the Schlurpzilla, Beeb. <laughs> the Schlurpzilla. <laughs> That's still funny to me. Empty Hero made this fucking video about, like, he fucking typed in, I think it was, like, Zelda horse. Like, Zelda is a horse. In the, um, fucking video editor, or whatever the fuck editor it was, um, AI. And he got this weird Zelda horse. With, like, <laughs> it was like Zelda as a horse, and she had, like, dick-sucking lips. <laughs> Inspired equals cheap copycat. So every, every like any time he could, Empty would just show people this weird dick sucking Zelda horse, and he made a video about it. Yes, I think we're almost on this level. Yeah. So am I gonna? How do I get down from this thing? Oh, right here. Jane, stop this crazy thing. Yeah, it used to piss me off, even as a kid. You remember watching the Jetsons? And he should have booba cannons. <laughs> Maybe in the Japanese version. But you'd be watching Jetsons, and you'd see George Jetson giving his wife money for the day. And she'd take the whole fucking wallet and leave. I was like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Honestly, I think the Flintstones were a better show. Jetsons were just kind of boring. <laughs> you know, you don't see George Jetson hawking cereal. But where's your cereal license, George Jetson? Did a parrot? Yes, they did several, actually. Ooh. Future without Mexicans or blacks. You gonna pull the switch, Laura? Hey, man. Chill to be fair, that was back when the Flintstones were considered like... It wasn't a kid's cartoon. Oh, am I gonna drown? Could you imagine coming into this part and seeing fucking Clanker from Banjo Kazooie sitting here? Yeah, I'm gonna drown. Let's get up. Laura? Sweetie. 
scenes of George beating his wife for some reason. Oh, fucking hell. Joey moment. I got Riona. Is that a key over there? Yeah, well, at least we're not that far off. Fucking hell! Riona, you got it. You got you got bang for your buck. All right, next time I'm gonna save right when I'm down there. God damn it! How did this happen? Banjo Kazooie and you. I tried to like ukulele. I really did. I, I probably should play it again. I like the original Banjo Kazooie, and I love Tui. A lot of people didn't like Tui. They didn't understand it. It's like, yeah, it's a fucking Metroidvania, which surprisingly was a rare concept for the N64. Was a Metroidvania game. <coughs> Slop Extreme. I heard the sequel was really good. The sequel plays more like uh, Donkey Kong Country. We're going to save right here, just in case. Almost 200 saves. Isn't Kalele? Yeah. 13 better. I've never played Brain Dead 13. Pukalele. Let's, you know, fucking save again. You can never be too sure. And he goes, zip! Imagine you get down here and you just see Clanker from Banjo-Kazooie just chilling. Virtue signal. Oh, yeah. John Tron. Yeah, I hate that fucking game developers and shit feel like they have to put themselves in fucking, like, hot trending topics. Like, no. No, you don't. You don't need to fucking... Don't... Yeah, Donkey Kong Country's a good game. I like Donkey Kong Country. You don't need to insert yourself into the hot gaming topic. Literally just make... This looks like a Switch, but I can't access it for some reason. I'm going to swim up. Laura, I swear to God. Yeah, it's like, oh, we did... Yeah, just shut the fuck up make the game. You don't need to insert yourself. I don't want to hear your opinions about... Fucking BLM or trans rights. Just shut your fucking mouth and make the game. Make the product. I don't know why these people feel the need that they have to fucking make like one crowd of people happy. Make your fucking product, shut your fucking mouth. It's like, uh, my black people. Yeah. I don't know what's worse. That or my heckin' trannies. That, that's the one that fucking annoys me. Because, like, Troon's pissed me off to, like, no extent. Oh, there's the fucking lever. Whoo! They want a business, yeah. Shut your damn mouth, know your role. Shut your mouth and know your role! Oh, it's another jumping on the block, but... Tr to fuck you. No, I'm not. An old content creator I used to watch actually did troon out. His name is Shuken Shinobi. Oh, fuck. He used to review, like... Fucking common Rider toys and shit. You dick. Star Wars games. He used to review fucking common Rider toys, and then, like, he stopped making videos forever. And I'm like, oh, what happened to this dude? I unsubscribed to him because I was like, well, you're not making stuff. Might as well. 
I fucking check back again, Josephine <laughs> Jojo. His name was Shukin Shinobi. He was a fat autistic guy who, like, reviewed Kamen Rider toys. And I'm like, oh, wow, he hasn't made a video. I wonder what he's up to. And I look him up. Fuck, he... Telling him you'll never be a real woman. Yes, that was me. He need... They need to hear that shit. Josephine Jojo. Jolene Jojo. They fucking need to hear that shit. They're not gonna fucking learn from it, but they need to hear it. Because, like, it's better than them being fucking lied to. That's why they fucking off themselves. They get told this lie. Fat, autistic, and toys, he had no chance. Where you at? Fucker. Felicia Jojo. <laughs> You take Dolly Parton's man. That's a good song. I'm not a big country person, but that is a good song. Holy shit. Was I supposed to be down here? And I'm dead. And I'm dead. Everyone loves Dolly. Yeah, she's a good singer. You know, there's also obvious other reasons, but, you know... I like two big reasons love Dolly. I like the song. She's like, she's trying to steal. Do you guys know what Dolly? What the fuck? It bounced me off his nose. <laughs> Did you see that? It bounced me off. There we go. Hopefully I'm done this fucking shithole. He's like, do you guys know what Dolly looked like in the fucking 70s? Riona averted. She was like a fucking like 10 out of 10. Her boobs bounced you off. Gonna have a field day with this. It's gonna be fun. Did that, wasn't I already here? Do you marry Kat Dennings? You have to live. Ew, no. Plastic surgery, I'm guessing. Oh, Dolly? Probably when she was older. I don't think. I'm gonna say most likely when she's older. When she was older. Not 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 in the seventies, I don't think that would be common. Then he goes zip. Wow, that, that conversation just changed like five ways from Sunday. Holy shit. We went from talking about a fat autistic tranny that reviews common writer toys to talking about Dolly Parton. <laughs> Wasn't I just up here? Oh, for the love of beans. There we go. Not the dolly. Fucking dummy mommy. Ooh, ooh, crush me. Fucking. Still acts like a young woman around men. She's great, too. She does a lot of charity. Giving. Money. To... Yeah, that's good. I like her. I don't think they were fake back then. I don't know. He's gonna bounce me off his nose again because that was fucking funny. Whoop. That hurt a little. Yeah, I already pulled this one down. Pull that one up. Pull that. Oh, that's down there. Like a tarred baby who needs a helmet. <laughs> you didn't have to make it so birth at all. Oh, I have to go. Oh, that's why. I was like, why am I going in the same direction? Because I went down the same fucking hole I already did. I have to go down here. Between the legs, sir. Uh, will not be stopped. A million dollars? You're not gonna talk to me like that. That's a horrible video, but I keep quoting that. It's a video of Ethan Ralph berating his fucking ex-wife, who's his ex-wife for a reason. Restraining order number three, Ralph. <laughs> or is it four? 
Anyway, he's like berating Pantsu. He's like, you're fucking useless, bitch. But I keep quoting that part where he's like, a million dollars? You're not gonna talk to me. A million dollars? He couldn't even buy his fucking wife a fucking video game. A million dollars. Why does it look like I'm going around on the same... Is this boss time? Yes. Man, there's a big fucking... What we got here? Oh, neat. Oh, hey, buddies. <laughs> Fuck it. Medicine time. <sighs> Fuck you. They said her forehead was the pussy. They told me to fuck it. I fucked it. <laughs> that might be one of my favorite wrestling interviews of all time. There was a wrestler named New Jack who was this crazy fucking guy. What the fuck? They're mummies, I think. I'm, instead of the shotgun, I'm going to use the fucking... I am going to use the uh, Magnums because I got a bunch of Brazilians. <laughs> hue, 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 hue. We're also going to save before I open that door because this is a long fucking way up. Yeah, his name was New Jack. He was a um, wrestler for ECW, which was like the extreme rest. Literally, I think it was called Extreme Championship Wrestling. It was the one where they just smacked each other with baseball bats made with barbed wire. <laughs> and there was an incident where there was this fat fucking kid who lied about his age. And he, his name was Mass Transit. And he was like, hey, my dad's in the audience. Can you, like, cut me a little to make it look more graphic? <laughs> and he asked New Jack, of all people, this favor. <laughs> So New Jack cuts him badly. <laughs> so you better run, bitch. New Jack, he named himself after that movie. <laughs> and like the aftermath of that, inter uh, he was doing an interview with the um, some wrestling publication. And he's like, I do not regret what happened. At all. Fuck Laura! Climb up there. Am I back at the Sphinx? Yes, I am. So I just went back in circles. Save that. But I got a scarab for my troubles. A scarab in your trying times? That guy deserved it for lying about his experience. True. I don't feel sorry for the fucking kid. He lied about his age, put himself in danger, and put himself in even more danger by asking a legendarily fucking crazy wrestler to cut him. Fuck. Top of the Sphinx, underground, pool beneath the Sphinx. Oh, all right, I'm supposed to be back here. All right. Yeah, I, I don't feel bad for that fucking kid. Like you said. His forehead was the pussy, told him to fuck it, and he fucked it. Did I come? Yes, I did. That little blood that was skeeting out of his fucking head, that was my nut, fucker. <laughs> That's great. Like, yeah, don't ask a fucking legendarily crazy person to cut your fucking face. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, Joey. Poke out your eye, crape your skull. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. I have a the fucking thing, and I don't know where to put it. Oh, we got screenshots. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta go back there. <laughs> you fucking asshole. So, I have to go back in the Sphinx. So I can put the thing in there. Fucker. Fucker. Joey moment. <laughs> can I load the game? Because I think I was like right next to the door. There we go. Yeah, you can hear him galloping. Back up the sphincter. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> fuck you. Sounds like Pantsu. Let me just get my shotgun. <sighs> I was wondering why they were giving me so much fucking ammo. The horse braps you to death. <laughs> Fuck up. Oh, he kills you and he dies. Suffer, horse. Suffer, horse. Suffer, bish. I don't need you. I'm the fucking Ralph Amell, bish. Let's fuck go, bish. Suffer, Laura. No, if that was... That would be pigs. He'd be like a pig. <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is where I started. So we put this in the store. Please tell me I'm done with Egypt. Oh, I do have to climb in there. All right. Save my game too. Two hundred and four saves. Way to go. I still got a pain in my brain from you, and it's telling me funny ideas. I like to shoot you to hell. Eat a dick. I got an achievement called Pain in the Brain. That was easy. I just fucked him up with the shotgun. <laughs> that was real easy. <laughs> Fuck around and find out, dick. Do you have any loot? No. Can I teabag him? No. Well, technically that wouldn't be teabagging. That'd be clam bagging. Alrighty. We got our treasure. We are done. Little Vacation Riot's over. Took me an hour to beat that level. Found 1 out of 1 secrets. 28 out of 29 pickups. So we did really good in this level. You're under arrest for the murder of that one guy. Sucking wind, then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off me. Let's try the lunchbox. Literally, only Laura looks like a presentable person. <laughs> Nemesis. Everyone else looks like they should belong on a fucking like graphics card box from the nineties. Hey. Fuck her up. Yeet. I mean, she ain't gonna last that fall. I mean, she probably does. Let's go. Let's not fucking shoot down there some more or something. They aim at her. Let's. Yeah, we're good. So what's the worst you're you gonna do? She's gonna find out where we are.
That's pretty cool. Whee! How's the game coming along? You just need to tighten up the graphics over here and we should be good. God, can you believe we get paid to play video games? <laughs> that thing ride on water? Oh, I guess she is going to try to get that thing on water. That don't work, unless you got power. Does she know how to fucking do motorcycle stunts, too? Whoosh. What the heck was that? What? That one. It sounded like a motorcycle. Look at her wet outfit. It just looks transparent. Also, Laura doesn't wear a bra. Nap time. And they obviously didn't find her. No one had to go in that little nook for anything. No one had to go in there for anything. You had to, didn't have to get any supplies out of there. Little man in the hat wasn't getting the munchies. Sucked into the propeller and died. The end. This is the last set of levels. I have no fucking weapons whatsoever. Oh man, if I accidentally loaded that file, I would have been upset. Yeah, I don't have any fucking weapons. I have Uzi clips, Magnum clips, shotgun shells, a compass, and health. That's all she wrote. Alright, I have no clue what I'm doing, but we're going to make the best of this. You know, for a remake, they really knocked these games out of the park, and it's a shame Crystal Dynamics wants nothing to do with this fucking franchise. I doubt we're going to get remakes of, um, the uh, fucking Revelations and Chronicles. Hey, what's that over there? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do, I think. No, I don't see what I'm supposed to do. Alright, we'll figure out something. Yeah, I was really hoping they had um, The Last Revelation on there, at least. The first four Laura games, that'd be perfect, but no. What is this? Oh. It's always some little secret tucked away. Oh, and I can't even get in there. You dick. Pull this thing back. Yes. Where do I push it to? I
All right, let's check the guide. Let's consult the guide. There's a switch. All right. All right, there's a switch. Somewhere. Where is that switch? Oh, I gotta swim under the waterfall? Oh. Figure there was something behind the waterfall. It is a video game. There's another switch. Natla? Well, you're gonna see a lot more of her. She monster. She monster. DSP snort. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. What's going on? Alright, what door did that open? Oh, that was the door where the lever was. Dark side fell. If I was DSP, I wouldn't be blowing my money on fucking snorts. Ugh! It's clearing my throat. Fuck off. I wouldn't be spending my money on fucking wrestling cards. I saw how much DSP makes. He makes enough to live pretty comfortably. Nothing I could do, dude. Ugh. Bitch. See his house? He's got a big house. He lives in a gated community. All right. So the game really wants me to see that building. Oh. Big two. Why does he need a two-story house? It's just him, his cat, and his wife. Does he have one story and his wife has the other? Is that it? So we got to look for fuses. All right. I guarantee you that's it. That has to... Why, why does he need such a big place to live?
Put on a few pounds, please understand. Yeah, she got pretty heavy. Essentially his roommate, nothing more. That's sad. Ah, I see. I'm going to have to get that machine started then. All right. Or I can just... Laura, you can't reach in and grab it? Are you fucking kidding me? She can't crawl in there? Is she claustrophobic? Can I reach in? No, I can't. Well, we can't do that. Let's her live in her house by pretending to be his wife. Got his horse so his parents would shut up about him not being married. Parents always want grandchildren. Doing a co-op stream this Sunday, I heard. Come on, cat. Good old DSP. DSP, Dark Side Phil. I like doing the Medicare. Oh, what's this? I like doing my Medicare voice. <laughs> DSP, Dark Side Phil. Oh, that's why I climbed that. Oh, nope. Read it properly. Saturday. Oh, my God. What's up there? There's a lot of... Ah, uh, sounds like a lot of, a lot of stuff. Hoopla. Sounds like a lot of hoopla! Do I have to drag this all the way over there? No. Where, where does... Where does it want this? Because I can't drag it over there. There's fucking tires in the way. Why is this even here? Yeah, I can't... I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't take this shit no more. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> All I wanted to have a good time, good game. That still might be one of my favorite Wings content. Wings get stream sniped and loses it. The inbred rage break. Sucks that the fucking Wings trolls had to fucking take everything too seriously. I hate it when trolls get gay. <laughs> I can't take this shit no more. Okay. You know what? We'll figure something out. Nice. What's that? Oh. The kids thing, that's never happening. He's talked about it before, wants to blame trolls, but... Yeah. I mean, that was a pretty good moment. Like, he beat the fuck out of Boogie. And honestly, out of the two, I hate Boogie more. Boogie is legitimately manipulative, and it sickens me. What was that? How did that open? Oh, shit. Save. Fun to push around. Boogie deserves it. A lot more. Can you imagine Phil being... Yeah, uh, Phil, Phil shouldn't have kids. 
I'm not a big Phil hater. I like Phil detractor content. I used to like this is how you don't play before they came, became like four hours of nonsense. But yeah, Phil, yeah, Phil shouldn't be a dad. Was there so oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. That's lava. Don't touch that. That's why it's sending me back. Alright. So how do I keep these things from fucking popping out? Do I just have to run there fast? I think so. Yeah, I think I gotta... I gotta hoof it. Yeah, fuck that up. God damn it. Oh shit, I did it. And we found one of the fuses. Nice. Ah. Well, we got one of the fuses, so that's good. Now we just need the others. I'm gonna have 300 fucking saves by the time I'm done. So we got through that. We still got this, which... Can't reach that. Now we gotta learn how to fucking use this machine. Seriously, why doesn't Laura just reach over and grab it? Is there like a crouch? Oh, that's how you activate that. Oh, that's cool. Let me see something. Is there a crouch button that I just haven't been using? Duck and dash. Oh. What if we made it so that... Reach in there and fish it out, Laura. Alright, we'll figure something out. I have a guide, I just don't like using it a lot. Yeah, let's check the guide.
that one. We did that one. All right, let's try that one. All right. Yeah, I could not imagine Phil as a dad. Holy shit. There was a stream a long time ago. Like a few years ago. I want to say like four, three or four years ago. Where DSP was like streaming. And you could audibly hear like a fucking baby cry or something. And he goes, oh, wow, that must be the fridge or something, dudes. Like, you can just hear, Wah! And he goes, oh, that, that's my fridge. Oh. Whee! Ah. So, I don't know. You, I, if DSP had a kid, then he's really good at hiding it. Yeah, you heard that one, too. Oh, I moved the boat. Oh, that's how I get to those boxes over there. Ah. Yeah. Cat's friend. Maybe. Maybe they were babysitting. That still was weird, though. DSP was like, you, you hear this, like, you, her, you hear this fucking, like, audible cry. And he goes, oh, wow, that must be the fridge or something. Wow, dude, I don't know. Oh, wait. I just, can I go down here? Yeah. No, I can't. All right. All right. Natla. Save. Oh, oh, fuck. No, before you pull that out. I think I think I could pull it over here. I don't know, DSP did have a kid. There's a, I think it was like Law and Order, where like they're investigating a dead baby. And then they find out the baby is owned by like these fucking like fat, slovenly gamer people. <laughs> that'd, that'd be DSP if he had a kid. Like the baby's dead and they don't care. They're just sitting there playing their video game. I think it was CSI. It's probably one of the CSI series. There's like 10 of them. Maybe it was Without a Trace. Or Cold Case. Or one of those fucking... There's like... Back in the 2000s, there's like 20 true crime series all going on at the same time. Baby is owned. I remember that episode. That was fucked up. All right. You couldn't fucking walk a fucking foot without tripping over a true crime series. Even the religious shows had a segment dedicated to true crime. You guys remember Joan of Arcadia? Fuck, how do I get up there? Oh, splish splash, taking a bath. It was like teen drama, religious drama, and a fucking cop show all in one. It was like the goober of fucking TV shows that CBS loved back in the day. If you don't know what goober is, it's peanut butter and jelly mashed together. It's honestly not bad. 
Can I just use the drill? Addicted to true crime shows, especially the serial killer shit. Oh, yeah. Women love that shit. There it is. Just one more to go. Ain't nothing personal. Dude, I don't have a gun. Can you not shoot at me? Or... <laughs> I didn't have a gun. Or as our favorite, she used to say, Don't worry, I won't poison you. <laughs> That's fucking horrifying. Alright, I see where I'm supposed to go now. Personal. Nothing personnel, kid. Oh, no, I don't go there. Ah! That's the lava rift. Okie dokie. And I'm dead. Damn it. <laughs> Not in personnel, kid. Just gotta shoot you a few times. Oh, eat a dick. I'm not supposed to get that yet. Ha! Huh. Alright, so don't grab that. Don't fucking fuck with this cave. Get up here. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Nothing personnel, kid. And that activates the Uzi Clips. Which I will yank off the ground and take. Pull this switch. That activates the conveyor belt. Or activates that door, which... Alright. So we go back to where the waterfall is. Fuck me up the ass. Oh my god. And that's how we get our second fuse, and then we go back and get the third one. Alright. Get it, got it, doubt it. There's a movie I haven't seen in forever. The Master of Disguise. I had that movie on DVD. Watched it a few times, too. I, I remember liking it. I haven't watched it in forever. Just remember that story where it was 9-11? Like, they were filming the movie in, during 9-11. And uh, there was a part where he's in a turtle outfit... <laughs> And they were, like, told about the incident wearing the fuck... And he was wearing the turtle outfit. Somebody's like, they hit the fucking Pentagon. And he's got the Turtley Club outfit. Yes, I know what that is. I know what that is, Laura. Terrible, terrible taste, though, Joey. Am I not turtly enough for the Turtle Club? Again, I haven't seen that movie since I was like 14, 13 or 14. Seriously, Laura can't just reach your fucking hand in there. All right. What am I supposed to do now that I have two of them? The movie was so bad it killed Dana Carvey's career. <laughs> Jesus. OK, 
Can I just take it and run out? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause it says I gotta I get the guns in that room, so we do a little we do a little trolling. Gave him ca Dana Carvey had cancer. Holy shit, I didn't know that. It sucks that it killed his career. That's what the love guru did to Adam Sandler's career. It fucking killed it. This is the kind of puzzle they give Leon Kennedy right before he fights a big boss. It's like this type of puzzle that a monster comes out of there. That's Mike Myers. Yeah. Did I say Michael Myers? They were going to do that joke in Halloween. One of the Halloween movies. They would have had um, Jamie Lee Curtis walk past the actor Mike Myers. And she would have given him a double take because he has the same name as the killer. So glad they didn't do that. <laughs> That would've been fucking stupid. Oh, I said Adam Sandler? Ah! No, they're the same fucking movie. You know a movie I'm glad they don't make anymore? The bad spoof movie. It was like four or five years of just nothing but bad spoof movies. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is yank that thing and run the fuck out of there. Had better acting than the actual... I remember that one being kind of funny. I think I remember watching that. What was it Love Sucks or some stupid... Vampires Suck? That was because they were also focused on parrot spoofing one or two movies. <laughs> Instead of like, oh, there's Iron Man, and he gets crushed by a boulder. And then Paris Hilton shows up and goes, that's hot. And she gets shot by one of the fucking Alvin and the Chipmunk chipmunks. Oh, God, what, what was I? I was watching fucking with the family. Years ago, love movie or dating movie? Oh, God. I had to fucking step away. They were doing the Kill Bill parody. And it was like they did the constant like sound effect when they were like about to confront each other. I was like, I'm done. That's it. <laughs> you, one, uh, three times is the golden standard. If you do it any more than three, you fucked up. They made it. Yes, they did. Holy shit, I remember that one. Oh, that one was awful. All I remember at the end is the main villain turns into a Transformer. And the Transformer plays that stupid fucking Leave Britney Alone video. Oh. All right. We are going to save right there. Why the fuck did they feel the need to hide my guns in a little house? I got my guns back. So I'm gonna go fight that guy. Oh, God. Whew. Four and five were terrible. I forgot they made a four and five. First one was really funny. Not only was it where they only just spoofing like one or two movies. Three, I think. Um, Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer. And there were little bitty parodies of like different types of movies here and there. Three, Yeah, three was, again, you could see some of the, the stank start to form though. Like a, a, a parody of The Ring doesn't need an eight mile parody. Like... But yeah, that one was pretty good. It was mostly just The Ring, Signs, and like, I think one other movie. Oh, fuck. Laura, there we go. 
I'm gonna go back and pop a cap in that guy's ass. It was getting bad by that point. The second one was mostly just a haunted house movie. It really was. I think it was spoofing that fucking um, haunted house movie starring the Catherine Zeta Jones, and maybe um, oh, fuck, what was it? House on Haunted Hill, that remake. That was really it. Like uh, you got to keep it to two movies. Ain't nothing personal. How the fuck is he shooting me from there? Fuck! I'm on fire! Before they booted Keenan. Yeah! Ain't nothing personnel, kid. Me and ugh. got up. Yeah, they, they weren't there weren't like Leslie Nielsen movies, but like, yeah, the first few they were pretty decent. I like that the first one actually had a legit mystery with clues and shit. Like, they actually thought to do that. Even if it was just them parodying the usual suspects, it worked. Also, that song is apparently has no copyright. And because it doesn't have copyright, they can't put it on anywhere. Scary Movie 3 was made by the Naked Gun guys. Yeah, the Zucker Brothers. Josh Moon was talking about that. Not Scary Movie 3, but one of the songs in Scary Movie 1 they can't legally put on any streaming service because no one knows who the copyright owners are. <laughs> Not personnel, kid. I've seen that movie. That was pretty funny. Ain't nothing personal. Ain't nothing personal, I fall into the lava. <laughs> Ain't nothing personal. Nothing personnel. We're gonna save when I get there. How many times has this guy seen me fall into the lava? Like twice? Nothing personal. Dude, how much health does this dude have? Break. Break. I mean, how does he shoot me? The rocks! Oh, that clutch! Break. <laughs> you better run, bitch! Oh, his health is here. <laughs> I thought his <laughs> he's gonna shoot my corpse. Just to be safe, just to be on the safe side. Sa safe side. Ugh. Nothing personnel, kid. Master of disguise thing I could think of is the Robbie Rotten song. We are number one. I think that song is the same beats per minute as fucking, uh, Take a Hint. <laughs> or at least the same rhythm. Personal. Woo! Nothing personal. 
That movie was bad. Yeah, from what I heard. Boss, damn it! Am I gonna have to save in between the fight? Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? Eh. I think after I kill this guy, I might call it a night. What the fuck was that? Da 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 We are number one. Nothing personal. Yo, did I get this guy in a fucking retard loop? <laughs> Pause. Pause. Get fucked. It's personal now, bitch. Stay strapped or get clapped. Give me my fucking guns back, motherfucker. I got the magnums. Alright. Damn, I got 600 rounds in these. I'm gonna save and that'll be it for tonight. I wanted to beat the game tonight. But I think that's gonna be it. It's about 2.30. I gotta get to bed. Um, probably not a, maybe a stream tomorrow. It'll either be stream tomorrow or stream Friday. We'll do, um... I don't know. Either more old Tomb Raider, or maybe we'll start We Love Katamari. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you later. Nothing personal.